I hate to break it to you, but if you're one of these five types of people, you're probably not gonna make it in the army. Now, of course, there could be some other things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. You know, yeah, you're not gonna make an army if you're like a freaking murderer, or if you're a rapist, or if you whatever. You know, people always like to do these extremes whenever I talk about these types of videos. But I'm gonna talk about five types of people, five kind of characteristics of a person who's gonna have a really rough time in the army. They're not gonna like it, they're not gonna make it in the army. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different in this video and I'm just gonna read off the five little like bullet point things that I have on the five different types of soldiers, the five different types of people that are gonna have a rough time in the military and tell me if you don't see a trend on the kind of person that I think this kind of person is that's gonna have a rough time in the military. I obviously can't explain that very well, but the first thing that I wrote down is somebody who can't take orders and they have to be in charge. That, that's definitely a big deal. Somebody who can't work well with others, you're gonna have a really, really rough time in the military. And then not motivated to stay in shape, there's a reason why I put that one there. And then you don't want to be deployed. So a soldier who does not want to be deployed, they're just refusing to deploy. They're just, you know, trying to get out of deployments. So they're gonna have a rough time. And then somebody who can't deal with having their own time. And what I mean by somebody who can't deal with having their own time is because when you're in the army, when you're on orders, whenever you're a part, when you are in the duty day, right? So those five days a week or whatever, or sometimes, you know, let's say even if you're deployed even more than that, when it's those hours of the day, you're not doing this on your time. You're doing this kind of like on the army time. Like you have to do this. There's not gonna be a whole lot of leeway on things for you to do in your own free time, except for at the end of the duty day or on the weekends. And even still, that time might be kind of encroached upon because of different needs of the army, different needs of your unit. Now, why did I read off the five different types of characteristics of a soldier that just is not gonna make it in the army? The reason that I did that is because I get this question a lot. People are curious like if they can make it in the army or if they're gonna enjoy their time in the military. And from, from my perspective, from my thoughts on this topic, this video, why I'm doing this video, is because it's a certain type of person that has a more rough time in the military and that is somebody who is like extremely selfish right so they're really selfish they only care about themselves so you could say you know they're a self-centered person serving in the military is exactly what it is you are serving you are giving up a portion of your life you are giving up your time you are giving up a whole bunch of other things that civilians have in order to serve you're going to be giving up a lot right so in order to do that in order to be happy doing that you need to be a little bit less selfish to actually enjoy your time in the military. So whether it's working with others, a lot of people, you know, have a hard time when it, when it comes to working with others. You kind of want to take control of everything. You know, if you're put in charge of something or if you're in a group of people, like you feel like you have to have your hands on everything. And, you know, as you work up through the ranks in the military, you know, even, you know, on the lower enlisted side, you could reach you know, E5, you know, in your first contract. So in your first contract, you could reach E5 where then you're gonna have some kind of leadership, you know, opportunities and stuff. And if you're that kind of person who can't work well with others, you can't really delegate things. You always have to be, you know, doing everything. That's gonna not only just be bad because then you can't get as much stuff done because then you're gonna be the bottleneck in, in what has to be going on. But you're also gonna kind of just piss off everybody else because they're like, just leave us alone, we can do it, we can get it done, whatever. If you're the kind of person that can't take orders, that's for very obvious reasons gonna be rough. And you know, you might think, you know, if you're a kind of person that just can't take orders from other people, like why would you join the military? Well, people still do join the military and you will see people at basic training, at AIT, when you get to your unit, when a higher up tells them something to do and they just like huff and puff like they're freaking 10 years old and they just like, oh my gosh, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do this? This is so stupid. Just do it, right? You're in the military, you signed up for it. When a superior tells you something to do, as long as it's not immoral, unethical, deadly, or whatever, you know, whatever those three or things that people always say, you know, as long as it's not one of those things, just do it. Just, you know, shut your mouth, unless you have some way better thing that you can suggest of doing, then you can bring that up, you know, especially once this is again after basic training. But when you get to your unit, you can kind of bring that up. But these people, 
that are selfish, they're gonna have a rough time taking orders because they feel like it's all about them. A self-centered, selfish person who only cares about themselves, why they would choose to join the military, I'm not really that sure, but as long as that's not you, I think you're gonna be okay. Yes, of course, some things will be stupid, some things are gonna annoy you, some things are gonna be like, why am I doing this? But as long as you kind of have a better perspective on it than somebody who's just like really selfish, really self-centered or whatever, you're gonna be kind of good to go. You're gonna kind of make it through. Maybe you're not gonna to wanna to re-up at the end of it, but hopefully you're not gonna be counting down the days until you know you can be out of the military. And the last little thing that I wanna mention in regards to the kinds of characteristics or whatever, somebody who does not make it in the military is somebody who's not in shape who's not motivated to stay in shape and you know there's a, a few ways that you can kind of stay in the military and you're you're not going to be in the greatest shape in the world but you're really not going to be as happy if you aren't in shape the reason being is if you aren't in shape if you constantly are failing your pt test you're always going to have somebody kind of hounding on you like why aren't you doing this let's go do remedial pt so you're going to be doing extra pt which means you're going to be losing more free time which means you're going to be like what the heck this is all just so stupid but it's kind of because you're the person who's not taking upon themselves to go and do it kind of like on, again, yes, it would be your own time to stay in shape. You're gonna to have to do exercises and stuff beyond just PT in the mornings to actually, you know, again, be in shape. But it's definitely better than doing remedial PT, not when you wanna do it, but it's when somebody else is telling you to do it. So if you're, if you're not really in shape, if you're not, you know, that kind of person who is a little bit more motivated to at least stay in some sort of shape, it's, it's not gonna be the greatest time for you because you, again, you're always gonna be hounded on. And then technically on top of that, the easiest way to get out of the military actually is by failing multiple PT tests in a row. So if, like, if you really can't stay in shape, you're definitely not gonna make it in the military because if you fail two record PT tests in a row, you are supposed to get your paperwork starting the process of kicking you out of the military. Like that's what's supposed to happen. Doesn't always happen in the army. There might be a few things I'm like, oh, we'll just do another one, blah, blah, blah. But what's supposed to happen is if you fail two record PT tests in a row, you are supposed to get kicked out of the military. So remember guys, when you join the military, you're not like joining to be in charge of some big organization or whatever, you know, it's gonna take several years for you to reach a rank whenever you can actually be in charge of things and be the one kind of dictating certain things because those first few years, if you don't like being in charge, it's probably gonna be a little bit rough, especially if you're not going the whole officer route, but just remember that, guys. You're joining to serve. You're not joining to boss people around. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you wanna stick around on some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. If you wanna hit that notification bell button, that would freaking make my day. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. If you haven't already, the links are right here. If you guys haven't seen it, I mean, it's like right here, people ask, what's your social media? Right there. So, that's it. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you later. Drop.